I'll be honest with you guys. I am shocked and appalled, disgusted, disrespected, but mostly disappointed in what Supercell has done today. Not only today, but over the last couple of weeks here, and more specifically, the Clash of Clans team at Supercell. So let's get into it. We got a lot to talk about. I'd like to start today's video by saying that I'm not going to put any licensed or copyrighted music in this video. So anybody who would like to help spread the word or react to this content and talk about it, I highly, highly encourage it. And I also want to make sure that we don't put any actual Clash of Clans content in this video because Supercell has been abusing the copyright system recently and taking down channels who say things that they don't like. And I feel like they're not going to like this because we are exposing them today. So you might think I'm being a little bit paranoid by trying to protect myself against abuse of the copyright system by a big company like Supercell, but this is not beneath them. This is something that they would be petty enough to do. And because there is nothing that really would stop them other than the public backlash that would come as a result of that, then I want to make sure that we are bringing this to the attention of everybody so that we know that they have a history of this. And this is something that they may end up resorting to. And just to try to potentially shield my channel from this abuse of the copyright system and to make sure that everybody knows that this is happening, I want to bring this case to your attention. On the week leading up to Tuesday, April 9th, just two months ago, we can see that the Clash of Clans team issued copyright strikes against the content creator known as Time to Clash. He was a Clash of Clans esports commentator, just like myself. He streamed every day onto YouTube and to Twitch, majorly supporting Clash of Clans esports and a uh, largely positive contributor to the community. And even if they didn't think he was a positive contributor to the community or not, that's irrelevant because they abused the copyright system and took his channel down entirely. They went after, looks like, about 20 of his videos. You can see that every single one of them was claimed by Supercell Oi the entire video. And I guess technically, because there's Clash of Clans content in the video and it's their game, then technically they can do this, I, I suppose. But because he was a small content creator, I don't think they ever expected this to surface. And I think it was just going to be swept under the rug because because they have been intimidating the Clash of Clans content creators into silence, and that's been going on for many years now. But they didn't stop just at YouTube. They copyright striked his channel into the ground, and then they went on and went after his Discord, after his Twitter, after his Twitch. They went in and copyright striked everything that he had that was posting Clash of Clans content, and this is a small creator who only had like 20,000 subscribers, and so he did not have the tools to fight back. And because Supercell has been known to do things like this, then they intimidate the entire content creator community into silence because nobody else wants to be the next victim of what they are doing, and so everybody is afraid to speak out. So honestly, I don't even expect other content creators from the Clash of Clans community to interact with this in any way because I don't want them to be the next victim. I will stand here because they've already targeted up. They've already targeted me. The gloves are off and we're going to war. And I don't want the other content creators to get caught in the mix and ultimately become a target. So I, I, I think it's completely okay if you guys sit on the sidelines and just watch the mayhem unleash. Like, look at the dates on this post here that he received from Discord. Like, they were going months or almost a year back searching for anything that they could potentially put a copyright claim on so they could try to justify it. Like, they went deep into this. They were committed to try to take in this content creator down and silence him. And they're starting to do the same thing against me, so I'm a little bit concerned. I would hope that the public being aware about this blatant copyright abuse causes enough backlash to Supercell that the people who make decisions at the company can hold those employees responsible that were the ones who made this decision. But it's those same employees who are now trying to target my channel. So let's talk about that. And to do so, we need a little bit more context about what we do around here. So we have 415,000 subscribers on YouTube. We've amassed 2,100 Clash of Clans videos, mainly focusing on guides in the early days and more so nowadays we focus on high level clash of clans esports just last november i flew out to finland and i cast the world championship so needless to say we've been in very good standing with supercell for a very long time after the world championship supercell released town hall 16 and they decided that they were going to change the direction of the game to try to cater to casuals, and so they made the game significantly easier across every single level. Along with the game balance changing pretty drastically to make the game relatively easy compared to where it was before, they also introduced the new equipment system of Town 16, which made so that you could attach equipment to your heroes, and that would make them significantly more powerful. But the downside of that is they were introducing new equipment 
at such a rapid rate and you could only get the resources in game quick enough to get a small amount of it upgraded it made so that it effectively introduced a new pay to win mechanic into clash of clans esports and this never existed before for years we have been able to have everybody at the top level of the game on an even playing field and so now with the new introduction of the equipment and the continued release of new pieces of equipment that the only way you could possibly max out fast enough to be competitive would be to just pour large sums of money into the game made so that the entire clash of clans esports has become a bit pay to win you do need to make sure that you have equipment to be able to be competitive at the highest levels of clash of clans esports and so that directly affects what we do on the channel here and so i criticized that of course of course the game was too easy the meta was too easy they introduced a new rider troop it was completely broken they ended up nerfing it three times and so that ultimately brought it down to where it should be but in the meantime i talked about how the meta was a little bit too easy and things like the root riders were way too strong and the fact that supercell was actively changing the game to be able to bring those in line with where they should be and they continue to they even brought out a hard mode so that the game is more difficult for the pro players and i was all about that i have been very vocal about my support of them breaking out the hard mode and the nurse to the riders and other things that would bring the game back into balance and give the casual players a casual experience that they choose to have and give the pro players something difficult that they can challenge themselves with and we can have a competitive environment in and so when i started to criticize that the clash of clans team decided that that is their justification to remove me from the casting crew of the world championship and so I am no longer on the casting crew from the World Championship. And this video gets a lot worse from here. So uh, let's keep going here. But I do want to point out that the other content creators who are cast in the World Championship were also criticizing the meta. So that leads me to believe that this is a targeted attack against my channel, which is why I feel the need to bring up their abuse of the copyright system to make sure that we can shield this channel from being abused in the same way that the other content creators were. But the fact that... These other creators were also criticized in the meta. We can see here, meta equipments and pay to win, state of the game. We can see the other caster for the world championship, but nothing, no shade to these content creators. We are literally here to be the voice of the community, to be the voice of the players and talk about these things. And it's Supercell's job to make sure that we are heard and that we get the feedback to the developers and they can actually improve the game. But we see right here, Carbon Finn was talking about how here equipment broke clash of clans and so they were banning it in that war and everybody has been very vocal about how the meta has been in a very bad spot so obviously i was a little bit confused on why they decided to target my channel unprovoked and i still don't know exactly what the reason was behind that but i don't think it has anything to do with the meta of the game like i thought that's what it was because that's what they told me that it was but it obviously seems to be a targeted strike against my channel and i'm not really sure why they're going after me now if they don't like me and they just want to get rid of me then it is their decision to remove me from the world championship uh, casting crew and that was fine i didn't say anything about that like i was upset yes i'm ob obviously as upset but from there it started to get worse with what happened today during our live stream, we were discussing some drama surrounding one of the esports teams that is currently qualified at the World Championship. It was VM Legacy, our number two seed. And their team captain was delivering some news to Max, who was one of the star players for most of 2023 and 2024. He had a 100% perfect hit rate as they qualified at the World Championship. He was the fourth highest hit rate in the world in the Town Hall 15 meta last year during the World Championship circuit that year. And they were decided that they were moving forward without you he says after careful consideration we've decided to make a change to the team and move forward without you and we are we apologize for the time and the inconvenience how nice of him and we wish you the best of luck in the future qualifiers where he's gonna have to go qualify again now these qualifications are worth an enormous amount of money like you're talking tens of thousands of dollars at a minimum just to be on the team and get to the world championship and place last place and so to remove a player is not only denying them the opportunity to go to the world championship and have that experience but you're also denying them a large sum of money so to inexplicably remove one of the best players in the world and this is uh max now let me tell you a little bit about max now max is one of the nicest guys you've ever met he's a sweetheart he is 
a massive positive contributor to the Clash of Clans community, and he's one of the best players in Clash of Clans esports. We've featured him on the channel many, many times here, as he is very, very creative, he's very consistent, and he has one of the highest hit rates out of everybody in the world, regardless of the meta. And so they were removing him from the team and not giving a reason and denying him his opportunity to go play in the World Championship after he earned the spot on the team. I do want to point out that there has been a precedent set to be able to change the roster of a team after they qualify to the World Championship. Now, there's a confusing rule in the rule book that says teams that have earned a golden or silver ticket must compete in future Clash of Clans championship seasons and community tournaments with the same five players that originally earned the ticket. And so they also just kind of toss it at the end there, unless otherwise approved by the organizer, which is obviously Supercell. And so if they wanted to change the roster, then they just needed to, in the past, get an agreement from all the players. And it had to be unanimous for the players that are being removed and the entire team because of what is at play there. There's such a large sum of money, a life-changing amount of money for a lot of these young players. And so if you take that away from them against their will, when they did not do anything to warrant it, they did not have any public scandals, they did not get banned in the game, they didn't break the terms of service, they did nothing. Max did absolutely nothing to warrant a removal from the team. But in the case of the player that ultimately replaced him on Veeam Legacy, he just came from Millis MMG, who just qualified this last weekend into the World Championship. And they deliberately point out, and they should, this is exactly how you should do it. They said, we want to make it clear that we have not had any dramas with Mammoth. It's simply his choice. So Mammoth, who was playing on Millis MMG, who just qualified, ultimately decided that he was going to jump ship. And he was able to then obviously go in and uh, agree to leaving the team. And so that would be an approved thing that would pass through Supercell. And as long as they maintain the majority of their original roster as they go to the World Championship, then usually it's pretty normal that they can swap out a team or team member, I mean, but it has to be in agreement with that team member. They can't just kick him off the team. But the fact that he went over to VM Legacy and he replaced Max and Max was forced off of the team with Supercell's approval, apparently, because they would have had to have their approval, which is kind of shady in its own right. The reason I wanted to bring that stuff up is because this story just gets more shady from here. Flexi, the person who was in the DMs, removing Max from the team or delivering the news to him and the team captain that would have had to submit the roster changes to Supercell to be able to change the team is a tier three content creator. And he was able to become a tier three content creator because he has friends at Supercell that are able to hook him up with something that is usually exclusive to Twitch streamers and YouTubers who have a very large following. There are very few people that are tier three content creators. And I was one of them before I spoke out to stand up for Max. And then they decided, yeah, no, we're, we're just going to remove you because you stood up to Fluxy. And Fluxy is good friends with the people that make these decisions at Supercell and would also be the same people that would approve the roster change to remove Max from the team. So this is far worse than meets the eye because there is direct favoritism to allow him to do something that would typically be not denied for any other team. And so that is a really, really bad look for Supercell as Fluxy abuses his position and is able to leverage his friendships inside of the company. And if that wasn't enough, they then took it a step further. They went after Erica, who is another Clash of Clans esports commentator and a Twitch streamer. And when she expressed her disapproval of the situation, then they also decided that she needed a ban as well. So she was not a tier three content creator because she only has, as we see, four times the following of Fluxy. And so obviously she was not qualified to become a tier three content creator like Fluxy is. And so she instead was just straight up removed from the program instead of taking a demotion or a temporary ban. She was just straight up kicked out of the program because she had the nerve to stand up for the victim in the situation, which clearly was Max. So now that everything's on the table, the only thing to do from here is to make sure our voice is heard. We need to make sure the Supercell listens and ends this corruption. There is deep set corruption in Supercell. They are actively abusing the copyright system to silence small creators. They are intimidating the larger creators into silence. And their actions are so egregious and obvious that I think anybody can see right through it. So what you can do is go onto the App Store and you can leave a negative review 
onto Clash of Clans. Whether you're on Android or onto iOS, go onto the App Store and leave a negative review so that they have to listen. And then go onto social media and let them know your opinions about the situation because this is beyond messed up. They messed up, they started a war, and now they're gonna have to deal with the consequences. Also, Push this uh, video out to any content creators who do React content so we can spread the word as much as possible and make sure that everybody out there who plays Clash of Clans or, or who has played Clash of Clans in the past are aware of what has become of the Clash of Clans team at Supercell in 2024. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting the cause. And we'll see you in the next video.